17 crew is out there at Chapel Hill for this one, including our newest member, Chris Clark. And Chris, tough loss for the Tar Heels, but they have to be proud of their performance. Uh, man, I feel like I played a game out here with as much excitement as energy and the highs and the lows. I mean, before this game, people were comparing these two teams to David and Goliath, and obviously UNC being David, but they were saying it was David without a rock or a slingshot. I mean, we're talking about they took the number one team in the nation to the wire, to the wire. It came down to one play, one single play to beat the number one team. All they needed was two points, and they came up just oh so short. If you told everybody here that that was going to happen I'm pretty sure the faithful here would have taken it this is as close as you can come to a win and feel good I mean one point one point you just took the number one team in the nation to the wire came up short by one point and not for nothing I know people are going to be second guessing this thing and Mac Brown should have kicked the PAT and played for overtime it's nice to know he's got that much confidence in his guys to go out and get a couple of yards you know what that riverboat gambler mentality it, it didn't work today it didn't come up big for him. But you know what? Down the road, I see some huge things, especially for that kind of a mentality down the road. When he needs to go for it, he's got his guys back. We're going to be talking to a few of them here and uh, bringing it to you later on in sports there. Alyssa? All right. Thank you, Chris. Yes, we will check back in with you later in sports. That is, of course, the talk of the day. But the Wolfpack are in Tallah Tallahassee tonight, kickoff 730. The Pirates also in action. They're playing right now. They're leading the Monarchs 17-3 late in the first half.